Let's see. Uh, hello there. Jim Howard in Fort Worth, Texas, again. And today it's uh, February 7th of 2019. As you can see, I've hooked the Blue Yeti back up again. And I'm using it. Also, you may notice the lighting is a little bit different in here. And that's actually because I have no uh, lights on. It's 5, 5 p.m. Um, and actually, the Logitech cameras, at least the, the better ones, uh, webcams, uh, they work really well in low light level. And it is the uh, video here. Looks good, too good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go to a smaller picture, please. Uh, they do really good uh, video without having a lot of lights, but I, I do have. You know what I need to do? I need to get uh, a couple of those plugs for can't say the word, you know. Uh, well, I can't say it because I have it set for, I can't say Alexa, but have it set, have the echoes here set up. And uh, those plugs don't cost very much. I could put one over there and one over there. That would take care of, then I could just turn them on by voice. Um, so I'm using the Yeti. We'll see how it works now. Of course, I've got it pretty close. And these things, you need to put them, need to swallow them or whatever. Um, I'm down to one monitor on my desk. And I have the computer off the desk. And I just have the 4K monitor, the LG 4K monitor. And I'm using it in 4K mode. So I did all the adjustments, and it'll be fine in 4K mode. It just gets to be a problem when I have a secondary monitor next to it that is not a 4K, and when I drag stuff back and forth, it it may work, but then I'll drag something else over, and it fills the whole screen, or it's very small, or whatever. So I'm just in uh, 4K mode, so I've watched a, a few movies in 4K, I'm, it doesn't it doesn't do all that much for me. Um, my daughter, my son, and my grandson went to the casino the other day, and they did not do do well. Uh, so, and I didn't go. So, I need to. We need to stay away from the casino. I don't go very often, but I do. I do enjoy it. Uh, I would not say that I have a problem, but uh, yeah, going and deciding that you want to supplement your income, you know, that, oh, I need some money, I could use some money, I'd like to get this, and going to the casino, <laughs> that's not good. You should just go to the casino and decide, you know, I'm going to spend a hundred bucks, you know, going to be there a few hours, going to enjoy the atmosphere and you know like going to a amusement park or something just decide I'm going there and going to spend this amount of money as you know I went to the Cowtown ham fest I even had a table set up uh, I think this is the next ham fest coming up uh, here in Fort Worth area it's actually in Plano but it's coming up June 7th and June 8th. And I would like to go this time without, although I have a bunch of stuff I'd like to, to and I practically give it away. Uh, but I'd like to get, because I just don't have the, I'm confined more or less to this one cell. And uh, I'd just like to get rid of it. But on the other hand, I would like to go and just be able to go and walk around and look at everything and not have a table 
But I think Hillary wants to go. She enjoyed going, actually. She's not an amateur radio operator, but uh, I think she is going to study when she gets time for her license. But I would just like to go and enjoy it. But she, I think if we go, I think she's going to want to get a table. So I'll, uh, I'll have a table. I'll be putting some stuff on the table. But uh, this is supposed to be, from what people say, I haven't been to this one, to the uh, Plano Ham Fest, Hamcom 2019. I'll put the link below. It is going to, let's see. 119 days. I'll put the link below to this. 119 days until the uh, ham fest. Um, I guess I should subscribe so I can get updated about what's going on. Okay. Uh, I think is this where it tells get to go up to event information hours of operation okay these are the prizes that they're going to give away now you have to be present and Hillary and I even we left before they even had the drawing you have to be present in order to uh, win these are some nice these are some nice things we're going to give away at the end of the uh at the end of the event. And I suspect they'll be giving away other things, announcing it through, you know, giving away t-shirts or hats and all kinds of different different things. Um, but these are the prizes. Uh, they'll be doing testing. There'll be a lot of people with tables. Let's see, registration. Radio Merit Badge, that must be for uh, Boy Scouts, right? Yes. So if you are a Boy Scout, the one-day event is free to all Scouts in uniform. Scout leaders in uniform will also be able to get in free. Lunch will be provided to all Scouts under 18 years of age. Uh, I'm guessing that it says registration I'm not sure if you can earn it in one day or if you just register and then I'm not sure how that works. I was a Boy Scout for a very short period of time. My parents bought me the complete uniform, everything, the manual. And in order to officially be a Boy Scout, I think you have to f memorize the scout oath or something like that and then you become a you know before that I think you're not a scout until you memorize that and can recite it and uh, then you become a tenderfoot so I guess I officially was not a scout because I had the complete uniform the manual and I could not memorize the the uh, I didn't really try uh, I couldn't memorize the the oath. Uh, I have a very strange memory. Well, don't have much memory. Volunteers, registration. Anyway, this is supposed to be a really nice, because uh, people at this, uh, the one we went to, were saying that this was the uh, General admission tickets. Anyway, I'm I'm planning on going, and so if you are in the Plano, Texas area, or if you're going to go, um, look me up. If I don't have a table, I'll. I, I wish at the last event there was a company, a big company, I had a whole bunch of things, and they they made some great looking T-shirts, hats. <laughs> Uh, all types of all types of things and I just never got over they were a little expensive but they were really high quality I just never got over to have one made but anyway if you are going to attend uh, what 
What's this? Oh, I see. This is online reg. I thought it, this is the registration uh, to do it is between October 1st and May 31st. If you do it that way, and tickets are eight dollars each, and tickets will be ten dollars at the door. Online tickets are not mailed. Purchases are to be picked up at the Hamcom registration desk located in the lobby. Anyway, um, what else did I want to mention to you? I'm not going to mention politics at all. I did Well, I did not watch the State of the Union address. Um, I never watch uh, State of the Union addresses. I... Uh, Oh, I mean, I did, I guess, when John F. Kennedy, and maybe I might have watched a little bit of Obama's first. I just don't, I just, I just hate him. It's just so, so phony. Uh, just, you know, the Democrats clap for whatever their thing is, the Republicans clap for their thing. The camera zooms in if they mentioned, uh, if the president mentions, uh, we're going to increase spending for the military, the camera zooms in on the generals. If, uh, you know, and just, and th but then the worst thing is the people that they bring, the guests that they bring. And the president will say, you know, here's a police officer who, you know, did such and such. Uh, here's uh, Sully, the pilot that landed, you know, just, I just hate that crap. And I never watched the uh, State of the Union addresses, but of course, especially, <laughs> I would not watch the, uh, I don't want to get into politics, but uh, huh? Air Force General calls himself out after a uniform gaffe. Is that how? You, is that I? I know what it means, but and I've heard it before. But at the Trump speech, okay, I haven't heard this. Hope this isn't political. Air Force General. Okay. Air Force General called himself out after discovering that he wore his ribbon rack upside down. You know, oh wow. He must have had somebody, he must have, he's a general. <coughs> he must have had somebody, uh, I was not in the military. My intention was to go, I tried to get in the military twice, but I was, as I've told you before, <coughs> 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. Plus, what I never thought about was that the hearing loss that I've had since second or third grade in both ears, that would have kept me out. But I never thought about that. Never thought about the important thing. Um, but I do know that that's very important, uh, you know, that military people have their ribbons and awards uh, perfect. And uh, I also I <clears throat> I know that there's a, I guess it's maybe a private maybe the on if you're on base maybe they do it at the base not store but there are uh, companies I guess commercial who will put them together for you in the proper way. But I've never ever heard of any anybody uh, having their ribbons upside down. Wow. <laughs> um, I went to work one time. <clears throat> went to work one time <clears throat> when I was a welder, and <clears throat> I left <clears throat> real early in the morning. My wife was, you know, I didn't wake my wife up. Uh, so I was as quiet as possible. I kept the light out. I <clears throat> didn't want to disturb her. And uh, got to work, and a couple of guys came over and said, um, something about, what's with the shirt or whatever? And I said, what do you mean? And my wife, when you're a welder, you have fall, you have, you know, fire falling on you or whatever, or, you know, I used a settling cutting torch too, a little bit, and stuff like that, and the one they, uh, 
torch occasionally that worked like can't remember what we call it, what it was called where it used an R electric arc and it was for cutting though you know shot but anyway you get a lot of holes and burned in your stuff and whatever and she had patched some pants for me uh, with patches <clears throat> but she had taken that was uh, looked to me like almost like a brand new shirt and I didn't she had cut the the total back of the shirt out there was no back to the shirt so now that would be in a welder but I can't imagine uh, I don't know anyway never heard of that before caution what's wrong with this picture it's why they keep putting erasers on pencils upside down Anyway, this general posted a thing. A not-so-funny thing happened on the way to the State of the Union last night. If you look closely, you'll see that my ribbons on my uniform jacket are upside down. How can this possibly happen, you might ask? Well, we're all human, including me. And as I made a final check in the mirror just before I walked out the door, I missed it. Plain and simple, I hope this is a lesson for everyone who wears the uniform, and really for anyone they put erasers on pencils for a reason. When you make a mistake or miss a detail, own it up and move on. One thing for sure, my ribbons will never be upside down again. Okay. Okay. He had a sense of humor about it, but it must be pretty humiliating. I mean, you know, really. There's some mistakes you don't want to make. Uh, okay. Um. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to try to go to large screen here and say goodbye. Let's go to the other camera. This is the Logitech that is C930, I believe, E. I don't look any better than that one either. Ugh. Now, if you're watching this, you're all going to be trying to read over here, see if Jim has uh, passwords there or a list of, of uh, credit card numbers or something, huh? Boy, this really looks bad. This is this is a big, heavy desk, but I have the sandpaper to. Uh, sandpaper. I just don't want to do it. Anyway, I, oh, uh, do appreciate, let me, let me not, don't touch the mouse. Let me go to, where do I want to go? I want to go to Amazon. Let me go to Amazon. I want to go to earnings. As you know, um, what browser am I using? Why aren't you? Last pass, you put it in there. Oh, what in my browser? Which one is this now here? Okay, it's. Uh, Oh, what do we call it? Edge. Let's go to Firefox. Okay, and I want to go to Amazon. Okay. Earnings. Okay. Uh, as you know, I, uh, I can get a commission when you purchase something by using my link and going, and here you can see things that people have purchased using my link. And I can, and actually, as you can see here, payment history. Uh, 
uh, this month I'm going to get $45 and 80, 98 cents. That's not bad. But you can see here uh, the amounts, the ones in red are ones that have been, you know, uh, not very much over the many, many, many years. I can go on it, but anyway. But I do want to thank you because some of you undoubtedly are uh, using that uh, using that link, and I do appreciate it. There'll be a link below that'll tell you how to do it, and it doesn't cost you anything, and it uh, provides me a little extra money to purchase computer stuff or uh, stuff, and. Uh, Let's see, which one of, this is why, QR code, that's not it. Where are the other QR codes that I had? Huh, are they behind this? Oh, no, there they are. Okay, let me, no, I want to make you smaller. Uh, let's see, QR code to, there you go. This QR code, if you scan it with your QR scanner or cell phone or whatever you do, it will take you to my Amazon place. And you don't have to purchase the the items there. Uh, just while you're there, uh, if you decide to buy a big screen TV or a uh, $2,000 computer or something, that'd be nice. Then, you, you know, then to purchase it and I will get, uh, I will get credit for it. Um, let's see. I guess that's it. Uh, thank you very much for uh, for watching. And to you know, please subscribe. Um, I'm almost up to three thousand. I'm at two thousand seven hundred and something subscribers. I'd like to hit three thousand. So uh, please do hit the subscribe and then hit the little bell thing so you get a message whenever I upload a uh, the video. There again, uh, oh, yeah, let me know. Well, I'll be able to tell myself. But anyway, this is with the Blue Yeti microphone, which I have repeatedly tested over the years. And this is another test of it to see how it goes. So there again, thank you very much for watching.